All right, man, I've just about had it. This is my final word on something that is very popular in the gun community, and I thought it was pretty freaking awesome for quite some time myself, and I was right along on the bandwagon, but you know what? I've had it. The crossbreed sucks. And you can see I've cut on mine, all right? So, you know, don't judge me. Um, I modify stuff if I feel like it because, well, I'll get into that in a minute. This particular crossbreed is specifically made from Mikhail Tech. And in that respect, um, this is just not the right holster for a gun like this. Something that is this lightweight, <coughs> it just, this, look at how big this stinking thing is, man. Let me measure this sucker for you. Um, because, you know, I don't think a lot of people are talking about this, but, um, it's nine inches, uh, in width. Nine inches in width, okay? And, oof, look at that, I just scratched my table. Piece of junk. Anyway, I'm an idiot. Sorry, table. I'll fix you. It's okay, buddy. So, anyway, in this particular application, and this is not the only crossbreed that I've owned, um, I don't like it, man. I just don't like it. And um, I know this thing works for a lot of people, and that's cool, man. But for those of you who may be new to um, experimenting with the whole concealed carry thing, uh, I've been concealed carrying for three years now, I think. And I gotta tell you, I'm just not happy with this. It's just the truth, all right? I'm sharing my opinion with you guys. And what I have found that works so much better or works better for me is something I showed in a previous video uh, for a different gun is Uncle Mike and for uh, the kel PF9 the size 36 fits just fine alright so that works just nicely look at that and so in comparison here you can see look how much um, belt space that's going to take up in comparison. So much less belt space. Now the theory behind the crossbreed um, super tuck is that A, you can tuck your shirt underneath the clips and then you just have this huge clip showing on your belt. I'm sorry but if you think you're fooling anybody with these big honking clips hanging out, two of them, you you um, are delusional, sir, and you really need to rethink about your system and how you're going about it. Um, <laughs> it's just funny. So that's kind of the idea, and the other idea is that it uh, evenly distributes the weight on your belt. Okay, so it distributes the weight of your gun on your belt so it doesn't sag down, right? So it doesn't, won't sag you down. Well, I have found that, and I don't hear anybody else saying this about the crossbreed or the type, like this type of uh, holster, okay? Because there's a lot of them now. I got crossbreed when crossbreed was the only game in town as far as these type of holsters are concerned. And so I've stuck with crossbreed. I mean, I'm a loyal uh, buyer when I like uh, a brand. And so crossbreed was the first one out there and they did it right. But the design in general is kind of flawed in the fact that this whole thing riding up against your body, look at all that. You feel that, man. And so many people say, oh man, the crossbreed super tuck. Like, I uh, put it on, dude, and had a, a 14 pound gun in there and I, I it just disappeared it disappeared I didn't know I was carrying it well that's crap dude like this gun I don't remember what it weighs but it's, it's really lightweight um go look at my Keltec PF9 video or any Keltec PF9 video and they'll tell you what it weighs all right you don't need all that for a gun like this okay you just don't need it this is weight too. This weighs. And not only does it weigh, but it's uncomfortable. 
if you want to uh, wear your holster at the let's say this is three o'clock and that is six o'clock so if you want to wear it right about here at five o'clock then this is you know does well there but if you want to bring that up to the three o'clock position here then you're gonna end up ha wanting to do something like I did and this is the modification I made and so I took the um, uh, the front portion of this cut it off because it looked just like this half and um, dremeled off the bottom half of this clip here and then drilled a hole here and uh, in in through the buttonhole we went okay so and what was happening is it, it would dig into my hip when I would sit down and it was really uncomfortable but I want the gun up a little bit further I don't like it so far behind my back um, I just don't feel comfortable with it back there so I wanted it further up on my hip and I did this for a while and it man, it just is not comfortable it's just not comfortable there so you, you know I uh, for me the the crossbreed is no longer my fave and for a while there I was a, a huge supporter uh, I thought it answered a lot of the issues uh, with in the waistband uh, carry that uh, but when I first started researching this stuff, there weren't as many options as there are nowadays. Nowadays, you know, like nowadays is so long uh, ago. But Crossbreed was the first dudes that were coming out with this. And it just seemed like uh, it was really going to work well. And, you know, it, I'm not saying it doesn't. Like, it is an improvement over some designs. And even this, uh, like, you know, you're not going to be able to, like, this is just totally going to pancake on you when it, you have your pants pressure on there. And so you can't reholster this. You know, you got to create a hole and then uh, stick it in there. So that's something to say um, for this design. So, you know, you can reholster this uh, with belt pressure over top of that. But... At the same time, this is just a cheap Uncle Mike, man. I mean, if I really wanted, I could get a Kydex holster for this thing, and I would be uh, even more happy than I am with this um, cheap, 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 cheap Uncle Mike's holster. So that's it, man. That's my final thoughts. I, I'm, I'm just kind of like everybody just is so enamored with the uh, this type of holster, and I'm gonna say it's flawed. You know, that's that's my thoughts, that's my feelings, and uh, leave a comment down below if, if you um, totally disagree with me, or if you uh, want to say, yeah, man, I feel ya, I feel ya. Um, and honestly, this is really for uh, people who don't own one of these yet, and maybe are just now getting their um, concealed carry, and they're thinking about something like this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and suggest that you look elsewhere. Um, this is just, this is a lot. There's a lot of material here, and it feel, it makes this tiny, um, wonderful gun feel like a big gun, you know? So, and when you put it in um, something simple, when you put it in something simple, it goes back to feeling like a tiny little gun. And if you are claiming that something totally disappears on your hip, then I don't know if I totally believe you. And I think I've even said those words before. I mean, and some guns really are comfortable to carry. Uh, but you don't, you don't, you know they're there. I mean, come on, man. You know they're there. I know they're there. I, every time I've ever carried a gun on my hip, uh, I have felt it. Okay? And that is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, so, anyway, I'm going to say no thank you to Crossbreed. Uh, this is the um the last one i'm gonna buy so uh personally i'm uh in the future um when i get the scratch for it i'm gonna probably go kydex uh maybe not for this gun I, i'll probably just keep it simple i use this uncle mike but uh for my sd9 i'm definitely definitely gonna go uh, i'm gonna try to appendix carry that even though i got a fat gut don't judge me man don't judge me <laughs> Alright, so I hope I didn't offend any of you that are just uh, the lovers and supporters of Crossbreed. And, and Crossbreed, yeah, my apologies, I don't mean to offend you either. You're a good company. And uh, I, um, the quality is there. I mean, the quality is great. There's, and, and there's nothing wrong in that aspect with these. It's just the design in general. I don't like it. So, Alright, thanks for listening to my gripe sesh. Alright, later guys. Stay safe out there.